Shalom. I want to give all praises. Start off by giving all praises and our glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai. And give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations to all the Akiam around the world who pushing his word out in truth and sincerity. Right, this is Ama One from the GMS camp here in Trinidad. Just go and go with the spirit on the kingdom. Um, as the other day I was talking to a, a fellow in my work, on my job, and he say that um, tell yourself the Lord coming back with actual clouds, with actual clouds. You understand? Because that what the scripture say. So this Acts chapter one and verse. But have, you know what? I'll start from one. It says, The former treaties have I made. Acts 1 and 1. The former treaties have I made, O, Theophil, o Theophilus, of all that Yahweh began both to, do and to, both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up after that through the Holy Spirit have given, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proof being seen of them forty days and forty being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high. So people see him when he did rise, right? And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. But wait for the promise of the fathers, which said, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit, not many days hence. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which your father had put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they yet beheld, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while he looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which was angels, which said all which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahushai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And that is how the Lord going to come back. The Lord was taken up into a cloud. What is them clouds? The clouds <coughs> Going to Psalms one, <coughs> Psalm chapter one hundred and four, verse three. It says, "Who laid the beams in his chambers? Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who make it the clouds his chariot? Who walk it upon? Who walk it upon the wings of the wind? So that is the clouds where Yahushua was taken up in. That is the clouds where Elijah was taken up in. You understand?" Know, that a chariot, a so-called UFO, which we call IFOs. And it's the angels say, the way how he was taken up, he going to come back. We live in any time when he going to come back. We live in any time when you have a shy, 2,000 years after, going to come back in the same like manner, just as how he went up. And the, and the scripture to back that up is um, Revelation. one and seven it says behold he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him every eye why every eye because he going to come back on no literal cloud he going to come back in some what every eye never see before he going to come back in a way what every eye on the earth never see before he going to come back in so called ufos which is the chariots of israel and bring destruction you understand and this fellow who was telling me that he didn't he don't understand because he don't have a spiritual eye. It says, Every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. 
and they also had pierced him, which proves reincarnation because they who pierced him on the earth today, but they're not in the same flesh. They knew they they knew flesh. But it's the same old spirit. Back in new flesh. They also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, so let it be. You understand? So that is how we are shy coming back with some big ass chariots, big ass so called UFOs, and what known as the cloud because it says he coming with the clouds, and Psalms 104 say he make it the clouds as chariots, right? And they say that every eye shall see, so every eye go and see. Every eye go and see the Lord. Because the Lord coming back in a magnificent way, in a, in a fabulous way. This is um, Jude 1 and 14. It says, And Enoch also the servant from Adam prophesied of these saints. Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of the saints. Ten thousands of the saints. That is how we coming back. So you go and have an innumerable amount of chariots in the sky. And they just people just gonna be in awe. People gonna be in shock. Like what the hell? This Job. You get the next precept. The Job nineteen twenty. <coughs> Job nineteen twenty seven. Uh, we from twenty. Uh, no, we start from twenty five. For I know that my redeemer liveth. And that he shall stand at the last, at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin, so Job see, Job know you go and see Redeemer, and our Redeemer coming back in clouds. So call you a force, chariots. Thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand of them. Upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, which is reincarnation. Whom I shall see for myself, and my eye shall be whole, because why? Every eye go and so Job know that I my eye go and see this. My God coming back. So Job know you will come back. And not another, though my reins be consumed within me. You understand? So Job know that pursuant of uh, Job know that pursuant of prophecy, pursuant of understanding. That he would have be reincarnated, he know that he would have seen the Mosai son come back on the earth, cause that and that would have and that will fulfill the scripture that every eye go and see the Lord. Behold, he come up with clouds and every eye shall see him. Every eye, every eye, cause that satellites all outside the earth, go go and pick up the Lord when he come back. And show a man in um the most remote part of the world. Get a UFOs in the sky. And they show you that in movies too. You understand? So, that is the coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, no aliens. That is the coming of the Son of God. And it's about time people start to realize that those chariots are, those the so called UFOs are angels in it. And not no aliens. Not no green things. Not no green people with big eyes and big heads. But black men, Israelite men. And with that, I will say Shalom and Barakatai Ahawa, Bashami Awashai, double honor to the apostles and the elders are great millstone. Shalom.